from Quebec to Quezon City, welcome fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon. And you knew, you absolutely knew that despite the best efforts of the Clash of Clans team, there are going to be bits and pieces about Town Hall 15 that are way too weak and way too strong. Well, in today's episode, we cover what I think is probably the closest to the most broken new feature of Town Hall 15. Now, of course, I will be covering a great deal of Town Hall 15 content in the coming days, weeks, and months, so it's a good time to be subscribed to the channel to turn on notifications, and it's always a great time to use creator code Galadon. Just remember, please, to use somebody's creator code. Free money from Supercell doesn't cost you anything, but it does help out the channel a great deal. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's episode with some slightly imbalanced attacks. You guys remember recently, yes, I did pay to win Clash of Clans. We paid to advance way ahead of the average player, so most of the attacks that I'm conducting are not really that fair, but you can still see a shining example of something that seems to be doing better than it otherwise probably should. And no, I'm not referring to the Electro Titan. In fact, I'm referring to the new siege machine, the Battle Drill. Now the Battle Drill is just such a cool siege machine. And yes, the community has been asking for something like this for a long time. And now we have a trio of tunneling troopers. We've got the Battle Drill, the Miners, and of course, Diggy. I love the mechanics of all of these units and the Battle Drill by far the coolest looking siege machine we've ever had. But, and it's a big but, apparently it is more than just cool looking. It is super strong and maybe, just maybe, I hate to say this, but okay, just remember this, okay? Just because I say it doesn't mean it's going to happen. And if it happens because I said it, doesn't mean that I caused it, okay? Supercell looks at the results of battles and they see what units are doing well and what units are doing poorly. And yes, what I am alluding to is the fact or the idea, or the possibility that the Battle Drill may see a nerf in the not-too-distant future. Now, I could be completely wrong, and remember that I am a max Town Hall 15, attacking brand new Town Hall 15s and Town Hall 14s, and annihilating them. And the Battle Drill seems to be lasting way too long, right? It just, it doesn't feel like a siege machine should be alive at the end of a battle. In fact, I can tell you for sure that that is never intended right? All of the other siege machines expire pretty early on, right around maybe the time the town hall goes down or the time the town hall is targeted. In many of these battles, I am having my battle drill just sitting around at the end. And what that means is the clan castle troops never even get used. But again, remember, this is not a fair fight. This is not a level playing field. And it is going to be many, many months before we see that. The Town Hall 15 update came in the off season of the World Championships for obvious reasons. Very few players are going to be rolling around with maxed out bases and maxed out troops and heroes for a long time. So in the meantime, we can kind of watch and just see what is going to be used the most, what the new meta is going to be like. And mostly we have to look to Legend League to see that. So I am in touch with some top Legend League players trying to get their feedback right now about what they think of the new update. But for right now, the good news is nothing is completely broken. Nothing is like the very first time that Hog Riders were released or the very first time Witches were released. For those of you that remember those days, nothing is breaking the game, but the drill does seem to have an awful lot of hit points and is lasting a lot longer than I had anticipated. Remember though, no monolith in any of these attacks and not even spell towers in most of them. But I just feel like the mechanic, if you watch how the battle drill works, it seems to be so slow that in most of these attacks, the other units are getting to the defenses first. They're tanking for the battle drill and the battle drill is in turn wiping out defense after defense after defense. Obviously, if a single target Inferno were to target it or the monolith, it's not going to last long. Right here, the battle drill has disappeared into this melee in the core, but also notice that it doesn't get damaged, of course, when it's underground. And it spends so much time underground that it can go through multiple defenses even when it's at about 10% health. Right here, every time it pops up, the defense is just about to get wiped out. Here, we can't even tell where it is. It's got such a long trip to the next defense, 
you can finally see it headed towards the wizard tower but by the time it pops up to breathe the defense is nearly wrecked and it moves on once again and then finally late in the battle it dumps two maxed out pekkas to destroy several more defenses and not necessarily that being the best clan castle composition but holding 50 space for the new CC, it seemed like a no-brainer. It would be a blast to bring two P.E.K.K.A.s and see how they do. They've done pretty well, although I will again admit that not every single attack I've been dropping has been a three-star, and using this many Electro Titans is never recommended. But when you've got a new toy, what do you do with it? You play with it, right? So we are out there practicing different Electro Titan attacks and having a blast doing it right now. Here we are going to watch the Phoenix roll in and pretty weak on offense. But remember the Phoenix, that ability to keep the hero invulnerable for a few seconds is the key. And I think the Phoenix is a lot of fun to use and I can't decide which I like better, the Phoenix or Diggy as the brand new hero. Okay, one more attack. And again, we're going up against a fully maxed we're going up against a nearly maxed. We're going up against a brand new Town Hall 15. Again, not even a single spell tower in sight. No monolith. So it's not fair. I understand. Galadon paid to win. Whatever. It's still just fun to watch. And I'm not earning anything crazy by winning these attacks, right? So we just get in there. And again, this is more to watch the battle drill than anything else. The rest of the strategy of this attack is kind of... I mean, I, I, I brought six earthquake spells. What the heck, Galadon? That, that's not even... I don't know what happened. That was a mistake. So again, we're trying to bring four or eight and this time I bring six. I have no idea why, but again, let's watch the Archer Queen rolls in. She's doing a little queen charge here on the three o'clock side at the bottom. I drop only the King to sort of complete another funnel. And then I realize I have six earthquake spells, but I'm out of wall breakers. So we use the earthquake spells to get the outer walls open. Just, just watch the siege machine as the battle drill goes in amongst everybody else. And I feel like it's speed. It's so slow that that's what allows it to last so long in an attack. Now, this is a kind of unique attack. Watch what's about to happen here as it doesn't look like things are going very well. In fact, it looks so bad for Galadon that I'm just about ready to rage quit the remainder of this attack. I throw down the last of my units just on the screen wherever it doesn't matter. I hit the Royal Champion's ability and now I'm actually going to force close. Yeah, I was ready to force close the app and just walk away because it looked like it might be a one star. And then I decided, okay, fine, I'll stick around. We'll watch the rest of the attack. The heroes are almost gone, but yes, once again, look closely and watch who is spearheading the remainder of this attack. A nearly 50% health battle drill is annihilating every single defense in its path. The Archer Queen barely holding on with health. In fact, having all four heroes up right now made the difference. And again, the battle drill is going to last until the end of the attack. And that just feels wrong. So we'll have to wait and see. Perhaps I should try some friendly battles against myself with my other Town Hall 15 with boosted troops just so we can see what it's really like to go up against a monolith and maxed out spell towers. But for now, the battle drill, I feel like everybody should be giving it a try. It may or may not work with your favorite attack, but for me right now, it's my favorite siege and maybe we should try it with some hogs and miners, right Galafam? Okay, well, that's next episode. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. True Galafam, get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Drills, I'm afraid of the dentist. I can't watch this episode. No, I can't.